Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be discussing how the keto diet could affect your menstrual cycle. Plus, stick around to the end of the video and I will be sharing with you two of my favorite recipes that helps me through this time of the month. So, let's get right on into the video, guys. Alright guys, we're just going to get right on into this and we're going to start talking about our menstrual cycle. So if this is something that you're interested in, keep watching. Guys, if this is something that completely grosses you out or you're just not interested in, I will leave a little video right here above my head and you can go check that out. And ladies, let's just get right on into it and start with the keto lifestyle. Now, when you start the keto lifestyle, it's going to boost your estrogen and uh, this may affect your cycle. You will notice this later on down the road. It's not, it's not really going to affect your first cycle. Sometimes it won't even affect your second cycle. So just keep an eye on that and uh, just uh, see from month to month how the keto lifestyle changes your cycle and how it changes and affects your symptoms. Um, after two weeks of being on the keto lifestyle, you may notice a general and an overall feeling of a better functionality of yourself. You're going to have more focus and energy and stuff like that. Um, after four weeks of being on the keto lifestyle, you're going to notice that you're sleeping better, your skin is looking better, um, you're in a more stable mood. Um, your libido may increase um, and your overall brain function may level out and you have you know you you'll have more focus and clarity within yourself now after six weeks of being on the keto diet you're going to notice weight loss by this time you could lose from 10 to 30 pounds on your weight loss journey and this is just within the first six weeks this is something that I noticed within my first six weeks of being on the keto diet and I lost just over 25 pounds within the first six weeks of being on the keto diet. And I was just happy as a little lark when I, when I lost that weight. And I'm still going, you guys. I'm working every day to lose more and more weight and reach my weight loss goals. So that's something that you're going to notice on the keto diet when you first start out on the keto diet. Um, right around this time is when you should notice that your your body is starting to to plateau out. It's gonna gonna stall a little bit, and this is completely normal. Everybody goes through it, so don't worry about it. What you need to do is start implementing intermittent fasting. When your body reaches this new weight level, say for instance you've lost 30 pounds. And you went from just say for instance you went from 200 pounds to 160 pounds within your first six weeks your body is thinking hey this is my new weight this is where I'm going to stay at so that's what it's going to do so now is the time to start implementing intermittent fasting work your way up to a 16 hour fast this is where i'm at right now sometimes i go longer sometimes i don't even do a fast it just depends on how i'm feeling that day but 90 percent of the time i am doing a 16 8 hour fast now what this is is i fast for 16 hours and then i eat within an eight hour period of the day sometimes i'll do an omad which is one meal a day so that is something that you can look into it's just going 24 hours before you have your your only meal and then you're going to go another 16 hours or 24 hours before you have your next meal just work your way up to that and you'll be fine another thing is is i just want to let you guys know is i'm not a doctor i'm not a healthcare professional so if you have any kind of um Thing like PCOS or endometriosis please 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 before you start anything go see your doctor um, even if if you don't have these um, if you don't have PCOS or endometriosis please go see your doctor 
and uh, get the okay before you do anything and uh, then start the keto diet um, but if you do have PCOS or endometriosis please 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 go see your doctor now I was diagnosed with endometriosis when I was 15 and I was taking medicine to regulate that and and help with that um, I did not have a severe case of endometriosis it was pretty on the mild side so um, being on the keto diet has helped me a lot with that and I'm very very thankful for finding the keto diet and uh, I don't think I'll ever eat any other way besides that now I do have cheat meals which is fine but um, as far as going back to the standard American diet um, which I call sad <laughs> obviously but um, I will never go back to the standard American diet after I've been eating this way I will never go back to the standard American diet because I just feel better so that is one thing that um, you're going to notice within your body is is weight loss and inflammation going down and everything like that another thing that you're going to notice when you start the keto lifestyle is your blood sugar your blood sugar when you're on the standard American diet is so outrageously high. It is ridiculous. And um, when you transition into the keto lifestyle way of living and your body gets used to running on fats for fuels, your blood sugar is going to go from a skyrocketing level down to a more level out um, number. Like, say for instance, it's, it's one... 60 170 which is very very high and it's just going to go down to maybe in the 80s between the the mid 70s to the mid 90s um, it just depends on your body so that is another good thing is that your blood sugar is going to level out and another thing that I have noticed within my menstrual cycle is my cut my when I start my PMS, my my premenstrual symptoms, syndromes, whatever you want to call it, all the way up until I stop my period, my ketones completely disappear. Um, now this doesn't happen very often. Um, I've been on the keto diet um, just at a year, and this is something that I've noticed maybe four or five times within my journey is that my ketones completely disappear within my menstrual cycle from the when my body notices that I'm going to start my cycle until my body notices that I'm off my cycle my ketones are, are gone um, they just completely disappear now I reached out to a healthcare professional about this um, who knows about the effects of the keto diets and your menstrual cycle and she said it's completely normal she said don't worry about it it's, it's normal um, and I was just asking her all kinds of questions about this and uh, she like she said it's completely normal um, it's just um, your hormone changes within your body obviously um, your body uses glucose from a dietary protein to run on fuel within this this week of premenstrual and postmenstrual cycle so she said it's completely normal after your cycle stops it will it will come back and you'll be able to notice that your body is in a, keto, a ketogenic state so I waited and um, the day after my period stopped I was at a, a rough 84 within my ketones um, which is really really great um, just keep in mind that within this time your your hormones are going to fluctuate and your ketones may disappear and you probably won't be able to read them on any pee strip or any blood glucose monitor so keep that in mind um, some common symptoms that all of us ladies know when we are on our menstrual cycle is bloating you're gonna have cramps you're gonna have tender breasts sore nipples um, you're gonna have those ever famous mood swings um, you're gonna feel low you're going to feel tired 
um, you're going to have low iron because let's face it you're bleeding um, and what's in blood iron is blood so you're going to have low blood iron um, you're going to have headaches you're going to have low magnesium low uh, low potassium you're going to have back aches you're going to have headaches and you're going to have those famous famous cravings for everything sweet that's in your cabinet um, it's just something that all of us go through it's completely normal now when you start the ketogenic diet um, it's going to regulate your symptoms better and you're not going to have all of those symptoms you're going to have um, less bloating you're going to have um, a more accurate cycle um, if that makes sense um, your your PMS symptoms are going to be regulated now like I said you're going to have less bloating you're going to have little to no puffiness within your body I know a lot of times when you wake up your body is really really puffy um, that's just the water weight in your body um, you're going to have little to no cramps at all this is something that I've noticed within my body um, very very few cramps if not any at all um it just depends on my body that month um you're going to feel less lethargic and less tired you're going to have less hunger spikes um you're going to have less of a heavier a heavier cycle it could regulate itself out and you could go from a heavy cycle to a moderate cycle or you can go from a moderate cycle to a moderate light cycle it just depends on your body you could have a less duration of time that you have on your menstrual cycle say for instance um, you have a full complete menstrual cycle of seven days you could notice a difference within your cycle going down from seven days to possibly four days it just depends on your body so make sure you keep an eye on it um, and write down your symptoms and everything like that now I'm just going to give you a few tips and tricks that you could follow while you're on, on your menstrual cycle that could just help you out just a little bit. Now we're going to start out with one of the most obvious ones that I could think of and it is to you ladies please stay off the scale during this time. Your weight, you're going you're going to gain weight. There's no other way around it. It's water weight. Don't worry about it. You're going to lose it stay off the scale there's no point in getting on the scale you're just going to be disappointed and you're going to get your feelings hurt and we don't want that so stay off the scale you'll lose the water weight just find something else to do don't even worry about the scale it's non-existent at this time stay off the scale when you're on your menstrual cycle um, and number two is to drink mineral salt in your water um, just pour you a glass of, of ice water, sprinkle a little bit of mineral salt in there, give it a stir and drink that. It's going to help replace any lost minerals that are depleted within your, mineral, men, your menstrual cycle. You're going to lose minerals, you're going to lose your magnesium, you're going to lose your potassium within your cycle. It's just natural. Um, your body is regenerating itself. It's getting out of all, you know, getting out all of that old stuff and regenerating new stuff. And during this time, it's depleted within with the minerals, potassium and calcium, uh, uh, magnesium. So just go ahead and stock up on those. You can take um, Calm to replenish your magnesium. You can take a potassium pill. Um, or find good uh, vegetables that have a lot of magnesium in there um, and uh, stock up on your mineral salt and that will help boost and replace the minerals and everything that you're depleted of during the cycle um, this will also help with food cravings as well um, mineral salt is a great way to fight off cravings so if if you 
drink your mineral salt in your water or you get a Redmond's Real Salt, um, a salt lick, um, and you lick on that and it still doesn't get rid of the sweet cravings that you have, go ahead and make a fat bomb. Go ahead and get one or two squares of that dark chocolate. Make sure it's uh, sugar free and keto friendly um, so you're not putting sugar into your body. We don't need sugar. Um, your body runs better when it's not on or, or in taking any sugar so make sure it's sugar free or sweetened with, you know sweetened with stevia or monk fruit or something like that just make sure it's keto friendly sweet treats um, and that should uh, take care of that sweet tooth craving because let's face it guys we all get those those cravings uh, within our menstrual cycle is normal it's just our hormones talking so give in and give give your body one or two treats it's fine just uh, before you give in to those sweet treats take uh, take a little bit of salt just get a pinch put it on your tongue get you a salt lick lick on that um, and see how that does if it doesn't get rid of your cravings go ahead and have have your sweet treat Another thing, ladies, is to relax and listen to your body. Your body is going through so much right now. It is getting rid of all of the old stuff, and it's putting in new stuff, and your body is tired. You're, you're bleeding. Um, let's face it, you're on your menstrual cycle. So you're going to be extremely, extremely tired. It's just your body's way of recuperating. You'll be fine in a day or two. You'll get your energy back. So during the, the tired days of your menstrual cycle, just relax. Get a nap if you're tired. It's okay. Uh, take you a hot shower. Get you a hot bubble bath. Just sit and relax in the tub. Um, get you a heating pad. Chill out on the couch. Put it on the low setting. Plug it in chill out watch a movie um just listen to your body and relax make sure you're getting enough sleep because it's going to help your body recuperate if that makes sense and another thing is is don't overwhelm yourself and keep your stress levels low if you're at work and somebody's just getting on your very last nerve, go into the opposite corner, go do something else. Just get away from that person. Keep your stress levels low. If you're at home and the fish is getting on your nerves because you're on your on your period, go for a walk. Um, exercising helps with, with uh, the process. So it will also help with the cramping as well. So... If you're sitting at home and you're watching television, your fish Fred over here is getting on your nerves, get up, put your shoes on, and go outside for a walk. Get you some fresh air, calm your nerves, you'll be fine. Another thing that I've noticed that has helped me so much within my menstrual cycle is drinking exogenous ketones. Now, um... I am a promoter for Pure Therapeutic Ketones for the company Prove It, and I believe in these products, and uh, I, I do drink these products every single day, and they have helped me with the regulation of my menstrual cycle. Um, so, what they do is, is they pretty much do the exact same thing as ketones do in your body. Um, it's just exogenous. Um, ketones are in in exogenous. I cannot say that word for some reason. The ketones that are made within your body are natural to your body. Exogenous ketones are made ketones to mimic the ketones that are in your body. Now what prove it ketones do, they are fermented. The world's only first fermented ketones and they are awesome you guys they help with so much they help with mood clarity focus um, sleep they even help with your menstrual cycle so they just help regulate your hormones and everything 
and that's something that um, I kind of bump up during my menstrual cycle. Um, most days I will take two ketones per day. It's just a packet of powder. You mix it with water, um, give it a shake, and uh, you drink it. I will drink a charged in the morning and a caffeine free at night. Now when I'm on my period, I do two charged and I do one caffeine free. In the morning I will drink a charged um, pre-workout. Um, I will drink a charged or a caffeinated ketone pre-lunch and then at night I will drink a caffeine free um, before bed. It just helps me sleep better. It helps, you know, with pretty much everything. Um, so I really enjoy taking those every single day because it helps regulate my menstrual cycle, my moods, and everything else, and not just during my menstrual cycle. Another thing that's going to help with your menstrual cycle is exercising. Yes, I know you're on your, on your period. You do not even want to get up off the couch, but even going for a short walk will help with your menstrual cycle and it will help cut down the duration of your menstrual cycle. Believe it or not, exercising will help cut the duration of your cycle. You don't have to go out and do three hours of cardio. You don't have to do that. You can do yoga, you can do stretching, you can do Pilates, you can go for a bike ride, you can go um, for a walk. Anything that can get your body up and moving will help shorten the period of your menstrual cycle and it will help with bloating and it will help with cramps as well. So I hope that helps you guys. Now I'm just going to jump right on into the recipes. Um, these are two of my favorite recipes and I drink these every day on my cycle one I will drink for um, breakfast and one I will drink before bed. It just helps to calm and relax your body before bed. Um, so let's get right on into that guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that little red subscribe button down below and be part of the Cruise Keto Vlogs family. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you won't be missing out on any of my videos. Let's go jump right on into these recipes, guys, and uh, I'll share with you um, how I make them. So let's just get right on into it, guys. All right, guys, I am in my kitchen now, and for the first recipe that we are going to make, we're going to be making a spiced green tea. This is so good, and you can sweeten it up however you like it. This is one recipe that I make in the morning. This sets me up for the rest of the day. Um, it will give me energy. It will um, just help regulate my menstrual cycle for the entire day. Um, it's very, very easy to make. You just make it, let it steep for 10 minutes, and you're good to go. So I'm just going to walk you through the ingredients. You're going to need ground ginger. You're going to need ground cloves. You're going to need cinnamon and green tea. This is the one that I like to use. This is a Lipton Matcha Green Tea. Um, I just like the flavor of it and it packs a really good punch with the green tea. Green tea is really anti-inflammatory as well as all of the other ingredients. They are all very anti-inflammatory and they're going to help with bloating and cramps and all that good stuff. So what you're going to do is you're just going to get you a cup full of water, hot water, going to let your tea, your green tea, steep for three minutes. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add one quarter teaspoon of your ginger, cinnamon, and clove into your tea. And then you're going to let that steep for five more minutes.
all right guys it has been steeping for just about 10 minutes um, if it gets cold you can heat it up on the stove or you can pop it in the microwave whichever one you prefer um, if you don't like the taste of something spicy um, not hot but um, spicy with um, the uh, ginger and the clove and the cinnamon you can certainly go down to an eighth of a teaspoon or just however much your body can tolerate um, so um, that's what I have post breakfast this is the first thing that I have when I wake up in the morning and it just helps um, calm and regulate my symptoms for the day it's very very delicious it's not really that spicy um, it's more warming it's very very good and you can swing it up however you like um, it's completely up to you but this is what I like to have in the morning before I have anything um, to eat or anything like that just gives me a boost of energy for the day it's so good you guys and uh, that's what I like to have for pre breakfast I will have this about 30 minutes before I eat any breakfast so that way it can go in and digest and start working its magic all right guys for the second recipe we're going to be making what I call my period broth this is something that I love to have right before bed because it calms my body down it warms my body it just relaxes my body and sets myself up for a more comfortable and restful sleep so I'm just going to walk you through the ingredients and then we're going to make it what you're going to need is a cup of broth you can use any kind of broth that you like this is just the kale and fire um, I love this because it's got a lot of great benefits in here and it's just so delicious so that's what I've got in here it's just the plain um, chicken broth from uh, kettle and fire you're going to need mineral salt this is a pink Himalayan salt you're going to need a cream of tartar this is to replace your magnesium in your body you're going to need a cayenne pepper you're going to need turmeric and ginger so now let's just make this and uh, I'll show you um, the measurements and everything that you can put in here um, another thing that I like to take before bed is a calm um, excuse me the cream of tartar replaces your potassium not your magnesium so that's good to have in that this is what I take for um, magnesium replacement this is just the calm I just add two ounces of um, warm water in a cup Put a quarter teaspoon um, in there give it a stir and drink it before bed I'd like to drink that about an hour before bed because it really calms and relaxes your body so let's just get right on into this recipe guys and I will show you exactly how to make it all right guys for the broth like I said this is just plain bone broth then you're going to add in your cayenne pepper um, you can use as little or as much as you like I like to add just a little bit of this because I don't want it too extremely spicy so I just add just a couple of dashes of that next you're going to add in about a, an eighth of a teaspoon to a quarter teaspoon of turmeric you're going to add in about an eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar you're also going to add in between an eighth of a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder just depends on how much you like garlic and then you're going to add in about a quarter teaspoon of mineral salt and you're just going to give this a stir and you're going to let this steep for three minutes
All right, guys, this has been steeping for about three minutes and it smells so good. Mm, I love this before bed. It just calms and relaxes you. It tastes really good. All of these spices in here have so many good anti-inflammatory properties. It tastes really good. Like I said, with the cayenne pepper, you can use as little or as much as you like. It just depends on your heat tolerance. But this is how I like mine. Um, plus, it's just going to relax your body and set your body up for a really good night's rest um, without all of that um, bloating, that bloating feeling and everything like that. So I would recommend drinking this before bed, at least two to three hours before bed. Um, and then drinking your calm about an hour before bed. It's just going to replace your um, magnesium. This with the cream of tartar will help replace your potassium that you're losing. This is also a great way to break a fast if you're fasting for 24 hours or longer. This is a great way to break your fast. Um, you can add just a little bit of coconut oil in here. And it's a really light um, drink to have when you're breaking a fast. I like to drink it this way because it just helps me relax and sleep better at night. And I don't get that bloated feeling at night um, when I wake up. Normally, if I don't drink this, I wake up and I just have that bloating feeling. I don't like that. So I drink this before bed. But... I'm going to go finish this because it's getting close to dinner time and uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this and get prepped and ready for bed because <laughs> I am tired. I didn't sleep that well last night. I was up in editing and all of this. So, plus I had to get up at 5.30 this morning to get my daughter on the bus. It's been a hectic day. So, I'm going to drink this. I'm going to enjoy this. And then I'm going to get some dinner out for me and my daughter and uh, just have a chill day with her. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this um, video helped you in some way on learning the effects of the keto diet and your menstrual cycle. If um, you have any questions, uh, please leave them down below and I will answer them as best as I can. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit that little red subscribe button down below and tick that little notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.